Hello. Good morning. This is Spiritfarer. Spiritfarer. Press any button. Join the Thunder Lotus family. No, I'm okay, thanks. New game. Spirits, requests completed. Start game. Oh, fuck, okay. Single player. Thank you. Okay. Ah, let me move up to that. Thank you. Why is this another fucking reading game? Fuck's sake. Here we go. Ah, finally. Ah, finally. Ah, okay. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would be. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. Sharon. Ooh. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. Okay. I cannot say that I'm sad to leave, but I still have a few things left to do here. <clears throat> I'm afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella, okay. Welcome, Stella. I see that you brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Did you assume his gender? They are gender. Daffodil. I see. You two will share the burden then. Take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit bearer. Different sizes though, so how does that work? Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. Lovely. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. The big round bridge over there is Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed and where existence meets its threshold. There is no mu no <laughs> There is no task more important than this one. It sounds like it's the only task. Never forget this, Canastella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Boom. Burst your drums. Now, be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The Everdoor, the Everlight, the Ever... Whatever. The symbol of your status here and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you... Oh, hi... Oh, how highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. 
the Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Okay. Hope is a flame, the light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. Oh, God. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look. I was overwhelmed too at first, what was it, all the fucking reading? Just try and keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. Okay. You will soon get used to this place. You will never leave! Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit farers, plural, after all. Oh, one last thing. Fucking hell. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. Yeah, of course it will. Oh. You might find one not far, not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. But I thought the fucking ship was going to disappear. Oh, hang on, there's two ships. So why can't, why do they need to find a ship if they're on a ship? Probably. It's time, here I go. So long, Canastella, and good luck, you will need it. Okay. So did that ever light turn into an ever ore? Is that how it worked? Right. And yeah, yeah, for some unknown reason, it just sinks there. Okay, so the idle animations are to turn it into a, a yo-yo, a hacky sack, back to a belt, belt buckle. Right, let's find out the keys. All right, A is jump. Oh, hang on. Press A to jump, hold A to jump higher. Okay. Ooh. Hold up while jumping to climb through platforms. So I can't press up on the thumbstick, I've got to press up on the. Okay. Let's see if I can do that without. Yeah, yeah. Hold down and A to drop down. Yeah, you can use the thumbstick. Okay. Press X to interact with glowing outline. Mm -hmm. Stella. Can Stella? It really is you. Stand up straight and let me look at you. Mm -hmm. You look good. And Daffodil is you too, I see. Mm -hmm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. <laughs> ah. It might not be that obvious. After all, mm. it's me, Gwen. Ah, <gasps> big shock. Who the fuck is Gwen? Good thing you found me. Mm. But if you're here, it means, oh, 
You are the new spirit bearer. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him and only ended up here by accident. What? Okay. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Why? Hmm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see you have the Everlight now. Of hmm. course. See that boat over there? That's your mum. That's the one. It's obviously slight. <laughs> Tongue twisters. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it will work since you're the spirit bearer. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. Or you could explain it, but there! Cat's drowned. All right, can I not get in the lifeboat? No. Okay. Over here. But you have to get there in order to read that. Fucking stupid. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Okay, it'll just be stinking of cigarettes and sardines though, won't it? Mm. Wonderful, wunderbar. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than I anticipated, so. The way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't, don't you think? Mm. Good. And as your other spirit fairer, welcoming stray spirits is your new job. I think we had all this, didn't we? And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Because you... You need to come here and give me a hug. You probably smell. New request, personal connection. Talk, give, hug, mood. So, all right, it's easier to use the crossbar thing. Much better, of course. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Oh no! What a mess. Reminds me of Aunt Petunia's old yard. A beautiful unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Or a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. Yep. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm. There's only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert, of course. Do you have a brush? Mm. He's your local shipwright, and his jokes are garbage. But he is the only one who can fix your boat. We should head to Albert's shipyard in Orange. You must be wondering how to make this ship move. It's really easy, actually. There, let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock the cabin, that cabin in the back. How do you know? You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? That's what I'm wondering. Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm. meticulously. 
Go on, open up that cabin can of Stella. The map projector should be simple enough to use and you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. <sighs> Set sail, Captain. Right, okay. Alt Harbour. Albert Shipyard. Set sail, Captain. Okay, nothing to do there. Down the stairs. Back at the door. Stella! As I understand, the ship is powered by our Everlight. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Sharon, the Everdor, the spirit bearers, this place, the boats, me being here, it's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. Yeah. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you, thanks. I'll do my best to help you and try to make sense of it all. Yeah. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world is your oyster. Okay. Hold extra reel. A herring. A herring. Mm -hmm. Woohoo, a herring. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Albert Shipyard discovered. Pum pum pum. Now head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Are there? Okay. Over here. Welcome to my shipyard, young traveller. Where my prices are a customer's best friend. I'm Albert, been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you are the new spirit fairer? Well, of course you are. Yeah. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! Let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. <laughs> Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. See, Sharon was unhappy about his gloomy and dank ark. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer's always right. So I built him a new, a better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's just call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know we can... <clears throat> you know we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry, we're still working on it. ra a ra 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 Anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be re 
resplendent again. The first thing you need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in terms of functionality. But the sub subsequent upgrades will come at... Uh, start again. But the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. New request building 101. Upgrade. Boat improvements. Mailbox. We'll purchase a mailbox. Can't. Icebreaker. Uh, let's click on that. Nope. The intrepid otter. Boat size. Ah, blueprint station beginner. Right. The hobbyist. Can't afford it. There you go. You'll be able to build and edit your boat in the build. Oh, fuck. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on the boat. What a treat. Yes. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too overcrowded. Cheers. Okay. Finally. Good. Albert gave it to you for free. He said he loaned the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go to your new print. Uh, <laughs> you can go to your new blueprint table above your cabin and select the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Let me read that again. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Mm. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Oh, i got to go to the door overnight. Right, door. Upstairs. Cabin. Oh, no. Sorry, it's here. Is it? Right, what's this? Crates. Resources found. Confirm travel. Yes. Should we just hug them, should we? Is that what we'll do? Thanks, but that won't be necessary. Oh, okay. I I don't know why I was supposed. To. It's up there. Okay, up up. Why have you hugged the cat? Oh, you titty. Right. Edit. Junk pile. What the fuck is this? Oh, salvage. Why? Select. Right. Back. Wonderful. Let's jump down. You did a wonderful job, Canastella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. 
unnecessary amenity. Newly welcome spirits, such as myself, will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep not really. I can tell you, I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Right. So let's... Okay, let's go to build. Uh, ah, left button, right button. Guest house. Put that there. Uh, so we've got build. Um, bench, okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Mm -hmm. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm. What is going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry, very hungry. You know how terrible a cook I am, but I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. Mm. And you might have fished a few fishes already. The trouble is, I can't really eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'll probably choke on the fish bone and never survive. Mm. That's not how you want me to go. As absurd as this sounds, so you should keep on using the blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard. Mm. I'm pretty sure I've seen the plans for it in there, as well as the necessary resources, damn. You require bright jelly. Mm. And there's only one way to get some. I, look, mm. I should have told you when I first met you here. Something scales the head of me, a dark mm. presence, and even I cower from it. A void that swallows all light included. It can take many forms, and uh, and for me, it is always jellyfish. Mm. Yes, I am fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need for the kitchen. Well, only these jellyfish can provide it, so there is no other option. Mm. I'll have to face my fears, but you are here. Mm. With you, I can do it. They will appear as a dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to prepare myself. Ah, I've got to sail somewhere else now, right? Hang on. If I... Ah, oh, because it's a mission. I have to do that. This is the jellyfish. Okay, let's go and fish while this is happening then. Oh fuck, I'm drowning. in. When Stella or Daffodil leave the boat, it stops. It will restart automatically once everyone is back on board. Right. I thought I was supposed to be fishing. Um, this is okay. It's all right for a bit of a laugh. It's not. I'm not going to play this any longer than it takes to make this video. This isn't really my cup of tea. It seems all right. It's nice little cartoony, a herring. Uh, 
I'm going to get as far as the jellyfish, I think, and then we'll just see what happens. A herring! Oh, look out. One more fish, then. One more fish then, yeah, thank you. Herring. We are here, dam. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be vis visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You will get glimpses anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Oh, you're going to... Right, okay. You've got to kind of jump. can't get them. I don't know how to do that. Ah, am I supposed to be doing it from over here? I guess that's a no then. Twenty glims. All right, so I got some jelly. Fantastic! That's not what I wanted. Try again. Fantastic, okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there, tumbling and diving like a shooting star, and without the slightest fear, no hesitation at that. You definitely haven't lost your touch. Pardon me, kind of Stella. Mm -hmm. It's too dark to navigate. It'll... Yeah, okay. And you even gathered enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting, slowly digesting myself. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, the night boats... Uh, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever light being well, light, or some other technicality. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle, unfinished business, or just chill on the deck of the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep too in that cosy little room atop your cabin. Mm -hmm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go and this ship will start again in the morning. Oh, and talking about that, you know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. Mm -hmm. You can ring that, be ring that bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Canastella. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Build uh, field kitchen. I'll do. Uh, 
uh, come down. X. Go to bed. Sleep until morning. Yes. Right, so this is early morning then, right? So... Fucking get up! Lovely kitchen. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put any one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You could even try those loose corn kernels that you have that have been hanging around my pockets. Ugh. I can't wait to see you in your cooking glory again. You got this. Cook. Let's do that then. Cook. Why? Relax. You need to calm down with that bell. When you ring it at night, people will get up. Nobody likes to be woken up, especially me. Okay. I can smell it. Bet you can. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Give. Food. Popcorn. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I thought it could be. But then again, you've always been a wonder in the kitchen. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. We need a good meal once in a while. It will be up to you to understand who's fond of what. Uh, as for me, I'm sure you remember I've always loved comfort food. And that I would die for a cup of coffee. But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, and before I forget, here is something I was supposed to give you. Not sure how, exactly how it works, but the, an obol is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay. But something tells me you already... You knew that already. Okay, let's keep on improving this craft. As you must have seen in your blueprint table, there is both a field and a garden blueprint, which means you can grow many different things. And turn this ship into an ador adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around you, and you can grow linen in it, which in turn will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. Mm. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove and there's something on it we need. I'll tell you when we get there. No, you won't. That's all I'm doing with this. I fucking hell, this has done my head in. It's oh, the reading. I just want something without any reading now. That would be nice. Oh my god. Yeah, it's nice enough. It's It's got a nice little sort of twinkly music uh, soundtrack to it. The characters seem to be, oh, you know, characters. Seems somewhat confusing. Nice little craft building type thing. Not really my cup of tea, i got to be honest. But I gave it a go and that's all I can do. Yeah, video's going to end now. So... Um, goodbye.